And I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julia Zamora. And on today's show, we're going to talk about nursery plants with Christmas berries. We're going to talk about amaryllis and paper whites. And yesterday was Black Friday, and we're going to talk about grifts for gardeners. And we're also going to talk about fresh garland and greens. And then using Wilt Stop anti-transparent to preserve those Christmas greens. So stay tuned, and we'll be back after this short break. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. We're going to talk a little bit about nursery plants with Christmas berries. Yeah, I tell you what, holly is probably the most popular. Right. And that uh, these are plants that you can put in your yard and you can always harvest later on. But uh, there are different types of hollies, though. For instance, American holly is really right. sharp spines and gets right. really big. Big. Yep. About 15 to 20 uh, foot at least. Uh, yeah, wow. even some bigger, wow. some bigger. But I have one in the back of my yard. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now you can cut some of that and, yeah. and use it. <laughs> That's great. Um, also, there's English holly. English. Yeah, like another, a Nellie Stevens. Another uh, large one, Nellie Stevens. Yeah, yeah. and, and that, that has a little bit of a shinier leaf. Shiny. A little bit bigger, mm-hmm. good berry set. Nice. Yeah, and so that's a, that's always good. One thing yes. you got to worry about, too, with what? berries, if they freeze, sometimes they'll fall off. So oh, okay. just remember that. Do they get, like, black? Is that what happens? Yeah, a bit over time. Yes. So if you're late. Right. But, again, they have great timing for berries at Christmas. Right. So plant them. They'll, they'll look fantastic. What else? What else is there? We have the winter holly. Uh, that's that's your another favorite. one I have in my backyard. I love that's your it. favorite. Yes, it is. Yeah. About six to eight foot tall. Yeah. And it's packed with berries. It's right. unbelievable. Right. And there's there's other varieties, too. They're a little bit right. smaller, like we'll Sprite. See. Sprite. Uh, I, I, oh, okay. They're like great, that one? great plant. How's the color? The, nice. As far as the leaf color, huh? That's yellow, yeah. right? Yellow. Bright leaf yeah. color in the fall. Yes. Otherwise, it's a real, real good deep green. Deep green, yeah. We love that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, but it does need a pollinator. It does, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 And also there's beautyberry. Beautyberry. Oh, that's different, huh? Calicarpa, Calicarpa. is the botanical name. And that, that has that purple, Purple-ish. real intense purple berry. Yes. yes. Um, it's wow. it's small, so it's kind of tiny. 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 And it is subject, you got to be careful with the freezing. But, man, it, oh, it's, it's, gorgeous. it's one of those plants in the fall that has just fantastic color. Yeah. From not because the leaves are changing color, although it does, it does. but it's because that that purple berry is all over the plant, oh, and it just comes. gives a dynamic to your landscape yes. that you normally wouldn't have. Right, right. you don't lose, you don't see that color too, well, too no. much. No, 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 you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. Um, juniper. Blue. Oh yeah, the blue juniper. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Um, they have to get a little older. Okay. Like there's Fitzer and, uh, like a Fitzer juniper. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Virginia Jun- juniper. They, juniper. they will get some berries on them. Right. But it's a blue, blueberry. Okay. Very, very pretty. Right. Um, it's almost like a gray. So mm. it, it complements the foliage, but it's nice. still, uh, different. So you can, you can now tell. How tall do they get? They don't get too Depends tall. on the variety. Oh, Cause, okay. uh, uh, they, it depends on the variety. When we talk about uh, right. harvesting greens, right? I'll tell you a little story oh, okay, about great. that. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to tell where I was because it okay. wasn't my plant. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I trimmed it. Let's just well, go. I'll, I'll let, that's my okay. teaser. Well, okay, that's, <laughs> that's my teaser. <laughs> We're looking forward to that one. 
what else have we got, Julio? A Cotone Asters. Oh, boy, are they turning beautiful right now, aren't yep. they? Foliage wow. colors looking great. And right. that, um, anybody knows the cranberry Cotone Aster, that's going to have a great berry. And Berries, yeah. Beauty, beauty berry. Berries. There's, a, oh. there's some really good varieties of Cotone Aster. Mm-hmm. And they're like a ground cover plant. Right. Some grower. can... Some can stay as low as like 18 inches. Others will get to be about two to three, three eh, probably two and a half foot, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Great plant, underused. Underused, yeah. I noticed not many people uh, go for them, but I love those plants. They I are mean, fantastic. Especially right now. Right, Holland, yep. Look how beautiful they are, like yep. burgundies. Sometimes and, semi-evergreen, too, where right. depending on what zone you're in and depending okay. on what the winter's like, sometimes they hold their leaves, sometimes the leaves fall off. So it right. all depends. So go out there in the garden center and see uh, that variety of uh, th- that we have in, in our garden center. I mean, there's, there's great opportunities. There's great opportunities. Mm-hmm. One thing that you don't even think about is heavenly okay. bamboo. Oh, yeah, another one. That you don't even think about that getting a berry, but it has a fantastic yes, berry does. at this time of the year. Right, right. It's and a great plant. Great not, a, plant. not a real tall shrub either. Yeah, yeah. It, it gets maybe three to four three feet. Foot? Yeah, yeah. That's a nice and plant for a garden bed. It absolutely is. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a great plant. Beautiful plant. Um, what now? You said you have winter berry. Yes, I do, Len. Has it been hard to take care of? No. I hardly touch it. it. It just keeps growing. And, you know, I do cut it. When some of the branches get a little bit crazy on me, <laughs> I do cut it. But it, it is profused with, with red berries. Uh, the, the birds love them. Yeah. I mean, oh, the, the robins are always around my, my house. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. And that, I've had calicarpa before. I'm okay. sorry, beautyberry with that beauty purple berry. berry. Mm-hmm. It. It, it grows in a lot of different areas where it can grow and even it can tolerate a little bit of water. Okay. You know, not in the, right. you know, not, right. can't, can't be drowning. Right. But uh, if you've got like a slow draining area, maybe right. on the high side of that, it might mm-hmm. be a good idea. Right. You know? Can you imagine, the, you know, having a carpa and uh, the hot red, you know, with the red uh, berries, and holly. that's nice. a great combination. It <laughs> is. And, <laughs> and the hollies are evergreen. That's right. Hollies are Holly evergreen. Are, yeah. Yeah, and the, depending on the variety of juniper, um, again, the, you're probably like a Fitzer juniper is going to be. Eh, it can get some can get big. It big. depends on the variety, yeah. and that's where it, it's genus, species, variety. Where you got to check what that variety is. Look at those tags. Sure. Um, and again, independent garden centers can answer your questions of right. where it would be best placed. Right. They'll tell you sun, shade, like. For instance, the, those uh, winterberry holly that you have, mm-hmm. are they in the sun or the shade? They're in between. In between. So yeah. partial sun? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Because I've seen them in anywhere from almost, I mean, shade. obviously full sun, right. but also into shade. Right. And they, they do handle. really well. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's good for naturalizing the oh, landscape yes. as well. It is wonderful, yes. Yeah. And, and some of the, I notice that sometimes we have uh, two varieties in one. The high, you know they're they're both in the same yes so it won't male and female so you don't need to pot that's don't right need to buy two of them that's right check the tags um, that's right Centerton Nursery does that that's right Monrovia yes. Nursery does that mm-hmm. so you don't have to go and get a uh, a pollinator it's right. already in that pot already in there yep that's so you'll right. have berries uh, so if you have a winter berry holly and you're not getting berries on it uh, could be two things could be because it's a male right. Doesn't get, berries, doesn't get berries or it could be a female that doesn't have a pollinator oh, close yeah. enough to do its thing That's so right. it produces so you, berries you have to know what's going on with them yep mm-hmm. now other hollies where we were talking about uh, american hollies mm-hmm. they are you'll see them in the wild a lot right uh where english hollies some folks right. in our listening area they can be spotty hot spotty uh hardy for instance, if it's in a area where it gets winter wind real bad, it's, hmm, it's not a, good. Not good. And that, okay. but what makes that great plant is there's a variegated version. So, Ooh, yeah, nice. nice. It's very nice. A beautiful now, plant. Now, can you use these as hedges too if you buy them small enough? You can, but okay. again, you're facing that. How hardy is it? It's, yes. You know, blue hollies may be a better choice. Oh, okay. You know, it mm-hmm. it's going to be. Uh, more of like a shrub right. than a tree, but yet Dragon Lady, Dragon Lady's fantastic cool. variety. That's yes. my favorite, Did Dragon Lady really? Holly. Oh. It can get pretty big, so you can use okay. it as a corner plant. Nice. And and I mean big, 10 feet, but that's 
you know, it's that's full up. grown. I mean, it's it's going to take a while to get there. Right. It's not a fast grower. No, we always like to say, okay, well, how we have customers ask, how big does it get? And it's like, well, first question is, in whose lifetime? Right. You know, we're talking <laughs> about, will we see it? I don't think I don't so. Know. But so always remember that, guys, when you're out there purchasing landscape plants, you want to know, okay, if it gets that big, if it gets 20 feet, like, will wow. I ever see it? Right. So, but yeah. always right plant, right spot. That's right. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Going back down to uh, the Catoni Aster, right? Underused plant. Yes, never. I can, never yes, prefers full sun. Can mm-hmm. take a little bit of shade, right? And it goes back to variety. Right. Uh, time Tom Thumb is my favorite I variety of Catoni Aster. Uh, real dwarf, real compact. Right. Uh, it's not going to get out of control. Right. It does its thing. And you can use it in areas where it's kind of rocky, maybe. A yeah, little, pretty. Yes, very, very pretty. Nice. Yes. Very I like pretty. That. It, it's a it's a great plant. It is a great plant. Yeah, Under, like you said, underused, and we need to look at that one. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Get out there and into your garden centers this weekend. More yes. than likely, there's some sales, I'm sure, mm-hmm. but also sure. there's some great plants that will fit right into your motif. You can put right. some of those hollies, like some of the hollies yeah. that have berries on them. You sure. can put them by your door in pl- oh, in yeah. planters sure. for now. For the Christmas season, and then plant and them plant afterwards. Later on. Yeah, that's a great idea, Len. Yep. Yeah. Now, the question we always talk about on this show is: right, it's never too late to plant. That's correct. Never Unless late. the ground is frozen, frozen. solid, right. then it's a problem right. because right. you can't get the soil backfilled right. around it. So, what do you want to do? You want to dig the dig the hole now, probably because it's, you could. But I it, it, you know, in this area, it it doesn't get that cold. Nah, we, you know, how many times does it freeze up? Right. Exactly. Exactly. So you got plenty, plenty of time to do things. That's it. Yes. That's it. All right. Well, our next segment about Amaryllis, we're going to be back into Greek mythology oh again. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this message. Last year's windy, cold winter months were tough on your outdoor plants. Did you know that you can help your plants survive the ravages of winter? Bonides Wilt Stop is the answer. This all-natural product, once applied onto your trees and shrubs, will put a clear coating on the plant, which protects plants from drying out. It prevents winter burn, salt damage, moisture loss, and also reduces transplant shock. Wiltstop seals the moisture in and keeps the cold, dry, damaging wind out. Wiltstop also prevents Christmas trees and wreaths from dropping their needles by sealing in the moisture. Extend the life of your Christmas greens by applying Wiltstop before you bring them inside or hang them outside. Bonides Wolf Stop is available in a bonus size 40 ounce ready to use and in pint, quart, and gallon concentrated sizes. Wolf Stop Christmas tree and wreath is available in a pint ready to use for easy application to your live seasonal decorations. Bonide products are family made in America. Wolf Stop is available at these fine stores. Clark Seed, Kenton, Delaware, Southern States Co-op, Middletown, Delaware, Ronnie's Garden World, Smyrna, Delaware. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, Julio, Amaryllis and Paper Whites are used at the Christmas season. Yes, they're very beautiful, aren't they? They are. They're they're, really different. They're they're both bulbs. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got a story to tell. Okay. Uh, it's amazing. We talk about Greek, Greek mythology, mythology, where yeah. do plants get There's their names. Of, yes. Amaryllis uh-huh. is not necessarily the flower. Right. Okay. That. No. Go ahead and don't get sleepy on me and fall asleep. But this <laughs> is will. a great little story. Okay. okay. Go ahead, then. Greek mythology right. explains the origin of the Amaryllis flower th- through a story of love. A beautiful wow. maiden named Amaryllis falls in love with a shepherd named Alto. On the mountainside, Alta is strength and life Hercules and the beauty of Apollo wow. with a passion for flowers. All right, good guy. Yeah, we flowers? Yeah, we like maybe, that. maybe. Yeah, okay. 
He claimed he would only fall in love with a girl who could bring him a new type of flower that he had never seen before. Wow. Determined to win his love, Amaryllis traveled to the Oracle of, a, of Adelphi for guidance. Wow. The Oracle instructed her that in order to win Eltio's heart, she must sacrifice her blood for him. Oh, boy. So Amaryllis stood in front of his house for 30 nights, wow. piercing her own heart with a golden arrow. <laughs> On the 30th day, a crimson flower grew from the blood of her heart, <laughs> thus resulting in her winning Alto's love in return. Wow. The flower Amaryllis is now a representation wow. of love. Its red color symbolizing the sacrifice of young Amaryllis was willing to make to win the heart. How about of that? Huh? Oh, He's boy. a jerk. Oh my goodness! I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Oh, she doesn't deserve. Amaryllis uh, deserves forget. better. That's right. I, I'm with you there. So maybe we could get, connect Brett. Uh, right. That's right. Brett, our producer. We'll see. We'll yeah. find. We'll we'll see about that. That's correct. Anyway, but you know what? It's just interesting on how these plants in history. That's right. So we're There's talking about Greek mythology. It's not like. You know, Joe Schmo from Windy Yesterday. City created right. a story. That's right. This is way back. All right. <laughs> so, oh listen, when you buy an amaryllis bulb, yep. sometimes you can buy them in a pot where it's already sitting in sitting some, like, pottery. really dried out potting soil. Yeah. Cool. Um, or you could buy the, just the bulb loose. Mm -hmm. Now, everything is in that bulb that you need. Ready to go. Huh? Yeah. Ready to go. Right. Ready to go. And listen, that. if there's sometimes the there's a couple of leaves that are pointing out of that bulb, mm. like it looks like it's starting to grow a little grow bit, up. that's okay. Yeah. Don't get worried about no. that. Just a little warm probably, right? Yeah, it just starts to grow and yeah. it's not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem Not at a problem. All. So what you need to do is take that bulb and you need to position it and put some soil around it because you don't necessarily want to bury the thing deep. All the way. No. no, no. Keep it keep it a little bit out of the ground. That's right. Okay. And it's... It, It'll grow easily. Uh, just give it some water. But keep in mind, you may water. not have it for Christmas. Okay. It, it may take, you know, anywhere from 4 to 12 weeks. Now, that's a Dutch-grown one, right, Len? That's what correct. That's correct. Uh -huh. And that they're going to be blooming sometime in, anywhere between January and April. That's okay because, you know, we're still in uh, Christmas mode. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, know? you have that thing, and, and it's growing. And that's it, right. But the flower is— going. I mean, she sacrificed 30 uh, days of piercing her that's heart. Right. That's, <laughs> right. that's right. It's a long time. That's right. <laughs> oh, my so, goodness. So, listen, when it, when it starts to sprout, sprout, you know, start watering it re more regularly. You, you don't want to keep more, it wet. Never right. want to keep it wet because it will end right. up rotting. If that's that, right. You, you want it over. You do not want that. Definitely don't want that. Right. And then you've got a couple of options with trying to keep it over. So, it comes up. It it does its thing, comes okay, out of the ground, out, blooms, blooms beautifully. beautiful. I guess like what? In one stem, I get four or Couple, five flowers, right? Yeah, if you're lucky. I mean, okay. usually it's a two or three. Two or three. That's not bad. Yeah. That's really yeah. nice. Because the flowers are just so large. So right, large. They're huge, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but. They're beautiful. When it's done mm -hmm. flowering. Right. What do you do? All right. So you can you, you can go cut, ahead and. You can cut that stem, right? Yeah. And, and if you want. You can try to keep it as a house plant, right? House plant, and it'll right. come, and you can put it outside during the summer, Later on. and then it eventually. I give you permission Go ahead, to throw it out. Okay, thank <laughs> okay. you. <laughs> then go through all, go through all the work, right? Um, <laughs> I, I had once said on the show that uh, plants aren't puppies. That's right. <laughs> that yeah, they're, uh, not. that they're not. It, hey, you can give it a shot, take care of it, but I want to see you enjoy the plants that you're growing. That's right. Yeah. You, know, you can't just go and suffer uh, with that thing and feel uh, guilty because. When do I cut it? When I, you know, yeah, let, let it get yellow, the, yeah, the leaves. It, but if you want to try to grow it, just go treat ahead. it like a house plant. It'll right. send up another another flower mm -hmm. stalk, but it's going to be. For courageous, you can do it, right, Len? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If you want to, you go ahead and do it, but treat it like a house plant. There It'll eventually go. send up another flower stalk, but it's going to be a long time before. And you yeah. will question, why am I taking care of this thing when yeah. I could have a lot more? Plants that are ready flowering now. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so if you want to mm -hmm. uh, send your uh, hate mail to Julio Zamora. <laughs> That's right. I'll get it all at here. bloomersinthegarden.com. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, Julio, tell us about Narcissus. 
Narcissus. Now, what does that remind you of, Len? Uh, 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 narcissistic. Yes, yeah, it does. It reminds me of my brother, actually. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Carl. <laughs> uh, I have another one for you here, another Greek mythology, okay? I'm ready. Narcissus was a hunter in Greek mythology, son of the river god Cephisus and the nymph Liriope. Oh, ah, look at that. Liriope. Liriope, right? like, yeah. Like, and Maybe I am saying it wrong all those years. Well, I don't know. Is it Liriope or Lirio? Well, I don't well, anyway, know. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> we'll I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No, no problem. He was a very beautiful young man, and many fell in love with him. However, he only showed them disdain and contempt. Oh, not good. No. One day, while he was hunting in the woods, the nymph Echo spotted him and immediately fell for him. When Narcissus sensed that someone was following him, Echo eventually revealed herself and tried to hug him. However, he pushed her off Uh oh. Okay. Well, and told her not to disturb him. Another jerk. Uh-oh. Echo, in despair, roamed around the woods for the rest of her life and wilted away until all it remained of her was an echo sound. Echo. Uh-oh. Echo. <laughs> Nemesis, the goddess of retribution and revenge, learned what had happened and decided to punish Narcissus for his behavior. Good. <laughs> she led him to a pool. There, the man saw him his reflection in the water and fell in love with it, although he did not realize in the beginning that it was just a reflection. When he understood it, he fell in despair that his love could not materialize and committed suicide. Ooh, Ooh. very dark. Yes, it is. Very dark. Not good. Not no. good. Nope. But cool story. Now, yep. that is for the genus of, of Narcissus. Narcissus. Right. Let's talk about paperweights. Right. right. The happy thing of paperweights. Paperweights, paperweights yeah. are the December birth flower. Did you know that? No, I didn't. No, yes, it is. yes, it is. December birth. It symbolizes wow. good wishes, faithfulness, and respect. So oh, the whole good. Narcissus story are for plants that are in that whole... Daffodil family Daffodil, and, and other yeah. Narcissus. That now, we love, yeah. Now, now, I tell you what, because Narcissus spent that time looking in the pool because it was <laughs> he was so gorgeous. That's right. Oh, my God. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Ladies, you can do better. That's right. Okay, so. There's options here to how to plant, right, Len? Tell me. Tell me. We can start off with soil. That's okay. probably the best way to do it and the easiest yep. way to do it. Yep. And you start out with a small pot, right? Mm-hmm. And you fill it with a little bit of coarse potting soil mix. So like a, a regular light potting mix? Right. With, and then you'd add some perlite to perlite it. Maybe. To it needs it, to yes. be light. Or, or you can do sand. Mm-hmm, you you can mix some sand in. You want mix. good drainage. Right. Right. You can do that. Yeah. And then you add the bulbs. Okay. Now mm-hmm. don't go too deep because okay. you don't want to put them all the way down. So just Ma- like maybe a, a third. Deep, deeper than the amaryllis, but not deeper. where it covers the top. The whole top. Right. Gotcha. Correct. And then you water it well and let it drain. That's important. You let it drain. Okay. You pull. You put the pots in a cool room. All right. This is important now. Yep. Around 55 to 60 degrees. So it needs that little coolness first. For right. At least a week to 10 days. Okay. Right. And if you're out there and you planted your tulips and all your narcissus and daffodils and, right. and crocus, you ever wonder why you plant them before it gets cold rather than right. spring? They have to have that cooling coolness. Period. Yeah, it, it, this does what this does is it stimulates the root systems. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's and, why you need it. And a lot of the bulbs that you're getting that are marked for Christmas sales mm-hmm. for paper whites, they may be pre-chilled, so that's right. You may not have to go through this, but it that's doesn't correct. hurt. It. Doesn't hurt it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt it. All right, well, keep then, keep going. Then you move them into a warm spot, right? So there's a transition point here. It's going to be around 70 degrees with bright light. So the foliage and flowers are going to, you know, they, they're going to need that energy. Okay. So that's what uh, you're going to do. All right. So household temperatures. Yes. Right right where you're at at home and it's comfortable. Perfect. And then as the leaves come out, you know, you, you want to make sure that you rotate the pot. Right. Every few days so the stalk is straight. So it's not like limping over. Okay. Uh, and then, and that, that's and that, important. These make a great hostess gift. Oh, yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Both of them. Both of them. Both the amaryllis. Yes. Yeah. And paper whites because they have such an intense mm. fragrance. Yes. Very, very fragrant. And that's why most people love paper whites. And oh, uh, yes. obviously white flower. Right. But And just these are easy. Are Everything really easy? that yeah. you need for them to grow and bloom is in the bulb already. You're right. not going to really screw it up. 
the only thing that if you're not giving it enough light, the leaves may be a little yellow. Right. right. But the flower, it's still going to flower. Oh, yes, it is. It's yeah. still going to flower. Yep. It's still going to so flower. So the buds open up and swell, you know, they, uh, and um, that's what happens. You know, the flowers come out and you'll enjoy that during your, uh, yep. your Christmas season. Yeah. And keep it, keep it watered. Mm-hmm. Keep, keep it watered. watered. Right. But right. again, this is another one. If you want to try to get it to rebloom, keep it as a house plant. Right. And then it will eventually reflower. But I'll tell you what. We, you we have give you my, permission right yeah, now? Yeah. Go ahead, Julio. That, that's, I'm, that's right. You can say it. We, we give you the permission to, to get rid of it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> it while it's growing. That's right. And, and that's you can right. euthanize plant uh and it's okay that's right (laughs) that's right right. now Uh, there's other options too besides the soil but we said you know that was the easiest right that is the best and that's what you should follow that's right (laughs) that's what you follow that's right all right in our next segment we're going to be talking about gifts for gardeners oh boy they're my favorite (laughs) all right we'll be right back after this message High Yield Brand Bone Meal contains 10% slow-release natural phosphorus. It helps all plants to develop sturdy root systems and stimulate healthy growth. You'll use it every time you plant bulbs, but it also is an excellent supplement fertilizer for roses, flowers, and vegetable gardens. High Yield Bone Meal is sourced from steamed bone meal, which provides a clean, natural source of phosphorus. High Yield is brought to you by VPG, the Fertilome People, and is available at these great stores. Russell Garden Center... 600 New Road, Churchville, PA. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Len, we're going to come up right now to the, my favorite gifts for gardeners. I've got my list. Oh, you do? Checking wow. it twice. Wow, you're early. <laughs> yeah, well. Wow, you're great. <laughs> you know, here's an opportunity to buy someone sure. something special something that they really wouldn't is. necessarily buy themselves. Yes. Yeah, I always I always look at those like metal watering cans, the right. ones that are the... Yeah. The aluminum watering aluminum cans, ones, yeah. really nice. Really Some nice. of those English watering cans. You don't want to use like them all the time. 50 bucks, that, you know, <laughs> that I wouldn't buy myself. Nah. But I'll tell you what, what? I, like they are very nice. Very and, nice. and you never feel like more of a professional gardener Ooh. that you really are a it's gardener a real, when you're real. using one of those. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is that funny how it works? It yeah. is. Yeah. It yeah. is. What else have we got? Oh, one of my favorite ones is pruners, Len. Yes. You can't go, you can't go, what was that, what that saying you always say? Can't leave a home without it. You can't leave, right. <laughs> that's right. You got to have a pruner, you know, and I, I'm always looking for a pruner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, we, we if, if you're wondering what we're doing, if uh-huh. you can check out us on YouTube, by the way, that, that's right. that uh, yeah. we are holding up pruners, pruners right, right now, yeah. you know, but uh, the one thing about a good pet set of pruners is getting a, a bypass pruner. Oh, yes. If you're buying mm-hmm. a gift, don't buy one of those ones that crush the branch before they cut it. You do not want no, those. Want Just that. leave them on the sh- on the shelf or mm-hmm. and at the store and, and buy correct. something that's a forged, forged. Uh, scissor type yes. pruner. And you know, I like actually the small. You like little, the little ones? They're kind of snippers. Oh, yeah. They're where nice. I can still prune pretty good sized branches. Right. But it's delicate enough to where I can cut herbs with it and herbs. harvest herbs for when I'm cooking dinner. Cut your flowers. Like right. Yeah, flowers. But flower. mostly for dinner. Like oh, yeah. when I'm going out there and I'm cooking no chives or something like that, I no don't kidding. necessarily want wow. to use my scissors. You know, I got I to gotta do that because I always use my scissors and I have to clean them and it's a mess. Yeah. 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 And that. Gloves, gloves. Oh, you can't. Another one. You got to have a glove. Yeah, you know, it, and, and I like these right here that we have here. They're they're a little longer. And that's they're rose gloves. Yeah, they're rose gloves. So I like they that. they go up to the All three the quarters way. of the way up your forearm. That's right. You so need they, those. They protect you from 
like we were talking about that American holly. What an oh, ugly yeah. plant that can be if right. you're trying to get leaves underneath oh, it because it yes. it's very, very sharp. Sharp. But it they call them rose gloves just for that because oh, of protection. cutting them for when you're doing roses. A little thicker than your regular ones, right? That's right. Yeah. Palms are leather. Uh, there's yeah. all, all different kinds. All different all kinds. Different kinds. Yes. And again, it goes back go to buying something that you're – uh, the person that you're giving it to wouldn't buy themselves. That's correct. You right. know, something Beautiful. a little better mm-hmm. brand, a little better quality. That's right. Uh, because you know that they want it. All gar- gardeners are tool nuts. You know, oh, yeah. They're, they're, I love my tools. Yeah. you got to have great tools, right, Len? That's absolutely right. Because yeah. if not. Most of the time I can't find mine, but you, you definitely. <laughs> Somebody definitely. took them, right? Yeah. Well, usually, usually, you know, I try to keep a set at Bloomers. Right. And I try to keep a set. At home, it doesn't but they work. all seem to end up at Bloomers eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, not a good thing. Explain our uh, succulent. Look at uh, this. We have it here for you folks on YouTube. It is called the Plant Amp, A-M-P. Plant Amp, A-M-P, like yeah. amp, like sound. Like, like sound amp. And it's, yes. a, it's a glass, glass tube. Yep, it looks like a cylinder, right? And it spots for plants. And it has two holes on the side of it. And what's the thing in the middle? In the middle is a little opening for your cell phone. Wow. Your cell phone. That's right. So it, on a desk on or a desk. On, even like on a patio. Right. It keeps your cell phone there, but this is different. Right? All right. I'm waiting. You turn on your cell phone to your favorite music. Right. And you turn it on. And that helps you not only listen to the music. Uh, it makes a speaker. It makes a speaker sound, and you hear it a little better. All right, so it's okay. louder. And, louder. And so you get that speaker sound speaker from sound. there. It reverberates through reverberates that. Reverberates through that. Very and cool. Pa- and the plants love it, too. Scientifically, I, Yeah. they say that the plants like to hear music. Really? Yes, and it makes them grow better. and Even rap? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about rap. <laughs> well, maybe. Who knows? It might. They might like the rap. Right? I'll tell you what. They might uh, not know. <laughs> it's a great gift. I want one. Yeah, it's I cool. I want one. I really like I it. want one of those. And, of course, there's plants. I mean, always getting uh-huh. uh, gardener plants. But a garden center is a great place to do stocking stuffers. Right. Because right. you can fill a stocking pretty inexpensively. Right. And... I mean, whether it's even just a, yes. some fertilizer and some gloves right. and some pruners and some right. things, you can you can do it pretty inexpensively. And it's a great gift. Great gift. And something like this, Len, you can't find in a regular store. Is in a right. garden center like ours, right. this is something that we really— I love it. Oh, yeah. You can't find it anywhere else. And again, it's a— it, like we have it with planted with succulents, right. and it's that little pocket for your phone <laughs> That's right. when you turn on. on right. <laughs> on, it's amazing. It, we were using it before. That's right. Yes. It it's so cool. It is very loud. It is. It, 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 <laughs> I like it. It is. It's great. It's great, yeah. It's I, want great one for, I want one for my desk. Okay, we'll that's, get you one. We'll get I you do. one for Christmas. Yeah, that's, all right. <laughs> now you know what I want. That's right. <laughs> wow. Uh, Go to your garden centers. Make sure you're yes. checking out what they have to oh, offer. Tons. There are great gifts for gardeners out there. You Wonderful. know, it, And again, it, it's, it's fun because oh, everybody yeah. else is going to buy the silly things online or whatever but you're gonna buy things that gardeners at heart really want yes (laughs) Yes. that's great part of the gardener yeah that's it Mm -hmm. all right so stay tuned we'll be right back after these messages are you tired of the mice moving into your home with you every fall would you like to keep them from coming into your home do you dislike using mouse killers around your kids and pets Bonite has the answer, mouse magic. Mouse magic is an all-natural mouse repellent that keeps mice from coming into your home, summer cabins, cars, boats, RVs, farm equipment, garden sheds, and more. Mouse magic has a pleasant aroma which smells like spearmint and peppermint, but mice hate it. Mouse magic repels by smell and works with an irritant that drives mice away. Just use one throw pack per average size room and your mouse free for up to two months. Available in a four pack box or a 12 pack economy Ziploc bag. Bonite products are family made in America. Mouse magic can be found at these fine stores. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center, Sewell, Washington Township, New Jersey. Lehigh Valley Garden Center, Allentown, PA. Delray Plus True Value, New Hope, PA. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? 
If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, welcome back. Back again. Yeah. You know, we're going to talk about the Christmas greens. Yes. Now that it's Thanksgiving's over, a lot of people are putting up their greens before uh, before Christmas. There's so many different types. Um, Probably our our most popular is white pine. White pine. White pine roping. Wow. Some people call it garland. Garland. We talk about regional names, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So it's uh, white pine. It's on a wire and they follow a string and that that wire just goes around wraps it around bunches and bunches and bunches of the pine and it creates a coil now you can buy those in 25 feet right now i'm just talking about garden centers most garden centers it's 25 feet feet. or it's 75 feet so it's 25 feet or 25 yards wow you know so it depends on how much you have to do sure um there are some places that I've seen where they're trying to right. fake you out, where it's oh, actually yeah. it's only 15 feet, oh, or wow. it's 10, or it's some you Tiny know there's little. some you know it's so be be sure you're looking at what you're selling. Now that's white pine. Right. There's also Fraser. Fraser. Fraser fir. fir. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. There's, sometimes there's Douglas. Douglas fir. Douglas yes. fir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Like Frazier a little bit. It's it it is, and we'll get into that in a second. Mm-hmm. Then something you're not seeing that much anymore What's that? is princess pine. Oh, princess. Sometimes ground pine. Ground pine. And I actually had a customer come in. What, now, what's the difference between? Well, princess pine and ground pine are the same thing. Oh, okay. It is it is a ground cover. Oh, okay. But it looks like an evergreen, like almost right. like an arborvitae kind of oh, foliage. That's nice. It is very nice. Yes. But it is only in okay. nature, so it's naturalized areas oh, that you see it. No kidding. Wow. You can't you can't reproduce it naturally. Oh, you can't. Or I'm sorry, not nat. It only can be reproduced naturally. naturally. You can't. Oh, okay. I want to grow princess pine. You can't do it. You can't do it. Oh, okay. Can't do wow. it. Not successfully. So it's kind of special. Very special. Wow. Very special. Now we get that. We get that. We get some of it. It just the pricing on that is a little bit is very very high. Oh, okay. So most of the time you have some people that want to put that inside because what happens is that it doesn't fall apart. Right. Um. Even if it should dry in the house, it still it still holds itself. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 great. But so even though it's a little bit more expensive, you still. You're not picking up needles every that's day. That's right. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, yeah. that's that's the that's, that's the key. That's the key. Um, pine is is sometimes mixed okay. with laurel. Oh, okay. So and and sometimes you can get straight laurel mm-hmm. in, in a garland. Okay. Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Not sometimes. All the, not all the time. Not all the time. Oh, okay. Not all the time. Gotcha. Um, again, it's it it is harvested. Right in the woods, right. And that princess pine, when it's pulled, sometimes it it's gone forever. Oh boy! So you want to be careful if you're, sure. you know, it, yeah. just keep that in mind. Right. Keep that in mind. The laurel, you know, a lot Plenty. of hunters and stuff when they're out there that right. they'll go and they'll gather laurel and they'll right. bundle it up and they'll sell it in in bundles to the guys that are doing the production. Oh. But uh, one of the largest suppliers has disappeared. Uh, Southern New Jersey. There was uh, a family that that worked, as far as I know, right. close to fifty years doing wow. doing uh, years. roping and garland. But no uh, they got to the point where it got uh, to the retirement age mm-hmm. and decided, right. say, you know what. I'm done. Done. Yeah. I'm I don't done. Blame him. Fifty years is a long time. It's very hard. Yes. It's very hard, and it, and it's also it's a different world. Oh yes. It's a different world. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, like where they're trying high quality, mm. you know, kept up with getting the best possible. Oh, okay. And that 
we've had this discussion, right, about quality. Oh yes, mm-hmm. it, independents have quality. Yes. Okay, you're going to get the best quality mm-hmm. available. That's what sets us apart because yep. mm-hmm. they care. That's right. They are family, or family they are owned. families that generally are o- ownership. That's right. And that those independent garden centers are want to be proud of what they're selling. Yep. They put the love and passion behind it all. Right. Yeah. A lot of times, there's some guys right. that. Uh, Let's just say if you go down to the junction, and I don't mean petticoat junction, <laughs> you know they're they're turning, right. they're oh, turning yeah. stuff. Right, they're right. just turning stuff. Yep. Good businesses, sure. Good businesses, but again, they're they're there to turn product. Right. Um, independent garden centers are there just to provide you heirloom quality That's product, right. yeah, so you can always guarantee you get the best. Uh, Maybe not the cheapest, mm-hmm. but always best. always yeah. the best. Mm-hmm. Sure. Always the best. Yeah. So go to your independent garden center mm-hmm. now. We talked about garlands. That's right. Now, how about cut greens? Cut greens. Now, hmm. what do you, Fraser fir, Fraser fir in bunches. Right. Uh, sometimes you see juniper. Junipers, yes. Juniper in bunch, mm-hmm. like blueberry juniper. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, there's something, what a daddy burger. Daddy burger. Daddy burger. <laughs> what? A daddy burger. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> a daddy burger uh, is a mixture of different greens. Mix. Yep, it's a mix of greens. So you have an evergreen I, back background, whether it, right. it could be a pine or it could uh, be Fraser, And then you, you get uh, a little bit of another type of, of uh, like, and then ends up with a little sprig of uh, wow. berry juniper. Wow. So you get a nice, real pretty. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Like that one. So I like I mean, that it's, that's a nice burger. <laughs> <it's> a, <laughs> don't eat it. Don't eat that's it. Right. Don't eat it. Uh, but it's it's a it's a great it, it's great to do those different types of plants. It is, uh, uh, and and use the different greens because you can always modify the greens that you're buying right. as a base. Yes, and then go through your. See, I yard. want to do that this year. I. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, you're getting me all excited about this. Yeah. Because I never really go into this. Your favorite is is winterberry. That's right. You go, you take some of I that winterberry of that. Right. and you mix that oh, in. Oh, my goodness. And yeah. it's like you're doing it yourself, right? Yep. And yep. it's your creative uh, juices flowing there. Exactly. Oh. How about, you know, adding some things like, right. uh, say, gold into gold. like some of the, the golden the varieties. Golden like, varieties. Uh, wow. uh, let's see, it's a uh, mop. Uh, a gold mop, gold mop, for instance. Gold mop, yes. right? Yep. So Fuji, you, right? you mix, yep. cut a little bit of, that, bit of that, mix it in. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you get me all ready now. Not, that's what we're here for. Yep. We're here to inspire. Yes. And we're here to inspire. Wow. I, I tell you that the yeah. one thing that you want to make sure is that you're right. taking some of those cuttings from the back. You don't want to necessarily be taking them from. <laughs> The front. Front, okay. You know what? We're going to go into that in our next segment. Yes. And that we'll be right back Mm -hmm. after this. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder, which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Coles, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower, peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomers Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomers in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomers Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. I heard it. I heard the birds. Oh, yes, It's time to feed the birds. birds. It's getting cold. Wow, yes. And remember, they need water, too. That's right. They need water, too. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to talk about wilt, wilt stop. stop. Wilt stop. Anti-transpirant to preserve our uh, Christmas greens, aren't they? That's right. Yep. Now, Very we've important. talked on this show about spraying it on your evergreens That's right. as like chapstick for your plants. That's right, chapstick. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's but great. you know what? You can use it both on cut oh, flowers wow. and cut greens. That's right. At Bloomers, we actually 
get a big vat wow. and take our wreaths. And when they're in a bundle, we dip them. Dip them in there. Wow. We dip them in and let them let them uh, dry off oh. and then decorate. Nice. And that's one thing. you got to wait for the stuff to dry before you start using right. it. Yeah. Now, you can spray it. Right. Right. That comes in a spray Sprayer. where it's uh, like a ready-to-use ready trigger use. spray. Right. It comes in a concentrate that you can put in your own sprayer. That's right. Right. Or you could use it in a water and can or bucket okay. like like we do. That's right. Uh, but it is not underused product. It's not used enough. Right. You right. Know. It isn't. What, what do you think? Tell me, what does it do? What's the advantages? Why should I bother using it? Well, it's going to pre- prevent it from... Um, you, what it does is it puts a film over uh, over it. Okay. Okay. All right. So anti transparent. That's a right. big That is big a big word, word isn't it? So yeah. it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't allow the plant to dry out. So it right. encapsulates it that keeps that because the water, the water dissipates through the root through the um, leaves. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. So it puts a coating over coating that and prevents it from, from getting out. All right, so so like kind of like keeping in a little humidifier, or, yeah. you know, it yeah. pre- prevents it from. Prevention, yeah. That's that's really good. It's a fantastic thing. Now, right, and that's just for your regular plants that are planted in your landscape. That's right. Now, right. on cut greens, it does the same thing. Same process. Right. It encapsulates and keeps them from drying out. That's great. Anybody who's going to be putting the cut greens into your house, whether it's roping, wreaths, or just cut greens evergreen garden, branches, right? Any of those yeah, going in. you want to go and use it right. because you don't want a mess of needles oh. or leaves falling How many times off you see that, before right? Christmas. That's right. You know, when you go to people's homes, you see all that over? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I tell you. It's usually in my home. I, it's in your home. Yeah. You forgot to put wheel stop <laughs> on it. Well, <laughs> there was one year where we had a wreath in front of on our front door. It was beautiful right. wreath, decorated okay. it. It was fantastic. Right. But I forgot to put uh, the wheel stop, stop on uh, it. My. And we usually use our back door. Right. I went out our front door and what realized... Happened? Oh my gosh! You know it's not even Christmas yet, and there's more needles on the ground than there were on the wreath, and oh, that's because I didn't use the wool stop. That's right. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, all that, all always, that effort. Always, always yes. use it. Again, at Bloomers, we after that we started dipping our wreaths, but I still suggest people <laughs> okay. to use a, a, another application because we're dipping bundles of six. Wow! In a vat, that's right. so it helps. Right. Certainly better than not doing it. Sure. Yeah. So redo it again. Yep. A little later on. Yep. Mm-hmm. And especially if you're going out and you're harvesting greens now. That's right. I was, I, I was hinting at a story. Um, <laughs> blueberry juniper, okay. to me, and is one of the prettiest oh. evergreens for Christmas sure. there are. Oh, wow. Powder blue. Uh, oh. it's, it's a powder blue color, powder blue. right? Uh-huh. And it has a... How can I describe it? It's powder blue. The berries are like a gray, gray, a grayish blue color. Grayish blue, wow! So it's offset and right. little contrast. It's uh, it's just fantastic. Right now, you're all excited. I can tell. <laughs> I am. I am. And uh, and part of it is because right. now I know where to get some because it can be hard to get. Oh, are they? Oh, oh yeah. Like okay. uh, like blue berry juniper. You can buy. Like okay. we can get it from the wholesale florist right. and, and get it. It's, okay. it's pretty expensive. Oh, is it? Huh. You can bring some in. I, I, I hope was in a parking lot. Okay, and these junipers were in the middle of the island. Oh, overgrown. No kid. Kind where you pull your car in and oh, you're you're boy. not sure if it's going to rip off your bumper. <laughs> That's right. I did my neighborly duty and trimmed them. Oh, you did! Wow. And took all the blueberry juniper. Oh no! Yes, <laughs> because it was just too beautiful to leave oh. and too dangerous to the cars that were pulling in. Oh, I see what you're thinking. Yeah, so, <laughs> oh, but that kind of story. Right. Walk around your yard. Mm-hmm. See what types of evergreens that you can trim without right. defacing them and making them ugly. That's right. I mean, you can add so much. Yes. But yes. you need to use the wilt stop on That's them. Right. Yes. There's different plants that will fall apart if they get right. into a 70 degree room. All right. of a sudden, what you thought sure. was beautiful foliage right. is now on the ground. It's just a bunch of sticks. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, Calicarpa right. can be that way. Calicarpa, oh, yeah. the beauty berry. Sure, they drop off easily. Drop off easily. Oh, boy. And berries can drop off easily. But okay. if you treat them with the wilt stop, sure. it's going to encapsulate that. Okay. It's going to stop that dryness from happening. Stops that right in Stro- extracts. Stops it, yes. Yeah. Oh. Fantastic. And you know what other thing? Mm-hmm. Spray your tree with it. If you're getting a cut tree, okay. If you're going to get cut tree. Oh, everybody yes. get, you know, you get a fresh cut on the bottom. That's right. But spray wilt stop on uh, your fresh cut tree. How about that? And that right? then you're really doing something. That's right. That That's you're right. going to stop it from drying out. Great idea. You're right? It, a dry tree is a safety right. hazard in the home. Oh, it is. So you want to get wilt stop and go and put and spray your tree uh, with it. And it works. It does. <laughs> it works. Absolutely. It yes. it is it is one of the best mm-hmm. products. Here we go. Underused. 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 Yep. Underused. 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 We're yep. not We're just trying that to sell wilt stops. Because it, it's it, important. It is, it is going to be better for uh, your life by using wilt stop. It's one of those things that you'll use every year right. after that. Yes. Now, there's products you can put into the water of your yeah. Christmas tree. Sure. And what that does is that keeps the sap from clogging, clogging the, the, right, gumming up the, yep. the water that water. flows to the tree. But sure. by spraying it with wilt stop, uh, now, now you're, you're, now now you're, you're going to stop it from just becoming a mist in the air where right. all of a sudden, if you've got uh, forced hot air oh, heat, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> your tree is drying out. That's right. If you've had problems before, like, I don't want a real tree. Right. You know, use wilt stop, and you'll you'll love having a real tree again. That's right. Because you'll still get the smell from it, uh, and that you could yeah. do your Fraser fir, your right. Douglas fir, your Canaan fir. Right. You can bring those trees into the house, and, and you can into the experience that Christmas. Because yeah. there's nothing better than coming inside yeah. the house, it's smelling and smelling. Oh, yeah, as yes. opposed to coming in the house and having to get the broom to sweep up the right. needles, vacuum cleaner, like, yeah. <laughs> and all that. <laughs> That's right. Oh my goodness. That's right. So make sure you're picking up Wilt Stop when Wilt you're stop. buying any greens. Any greens. Any yes. greens. Doesn't matter what it is. Cut loose, pay a little bit. Yes. Go ahead and buy it because I'll yep. tell you what, it will it will change your life oh, yeah. at Christmas time and it reduces what your burdens are right. from having to worry about uh, your greens and your trees and anything fresh. Yep. Yeah, it will renew your your yes. faith in in fresh material by bringing them in. That's right, and you can do it a little bit earlier too. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, sure. Don't yep. leave home without it. Right? That's right. <laughs> there we you say go. that. That's a great. That's it. Yes, I That's... tell you what. It, on all of your garlands, right. wreaths, roping, roping, all your cut branches, your holly, anything your you laurel, cut. Yep. anything cut right up mm. to your cut tree. Even wow. if you're bringing a live bald tree, a living tree that you're going to plant outside later, right. do absolutely it. do it. Right. Absolutely do it. Right. Tell you what, it's Beautiful. a miracle product. It is. Never used. I love it. Get out there and buy a bottle. Yes, it I'll is. Tell you what, you use it. If you have any left, spray it on all your landscape plants around your house. Yeah, that'll help too, huh? <laughs> that's, wow, that's, that's right. Wonderful. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. Yes, we are. We got school today and a few things, didn't we? Oh, my goodness. Yep. A lot yeah. of things today. Hey, Brad, if you see uh, Amaryllis come near you or a girl named Amaryllis or Echo, <laughs> oh, I just stay that. away, okay? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want some. Could you imagine? What? Where does the story come from? Uh, Pierce Hart, uh, you know, Somebody for letting it up. drip on the door. I, it, <laughs> anyway, it's anyway. a cool story, but it's. Kind of weird. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Plant people, I guess, are weird. But that's Greek mythology. Greek mythology, right. The plant was named after after the story. That's correct. That's correct. Anyway, (laughs) maybe. I don't know. I don't know. How about those hollies? We Uh, love our hollies. Yeah. American hollies are wonderful. I'll tell you, blue hollies. Blue hollies. Dragon lady. Dragon lady. My favorite. Yes. Dragon lady holly. All those blue hollies are fantastic. Fantastic. Deep, 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 rich, Mm -hmm. rich. 
rich green color. Rich green, yes. Yeah, and that contrasting berry that get on them, uh-huh. right? Use them. You can use them you know, inside the home, <laughs> right? And do well, not go into parking lots and steal berry juniper <laughs> without right. asking. That's right. All right. That's and right. I asked. I asked. I want to make that very clear. That's right. You don't want very to clear. get you in trouble. <laughs> Sometimes. You know, we didn't even talk about, as far as a cut green, Right. how about red tip photinia? Oh, photinia. We forgot about that one. Yeah, we did. Red yeah. tip photinia, fantastic Beautiful this time colors. of the year. It's got that little bit of red, red hue. burgundy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's great, great, great plant. Great plant. But yeah. what do you have to do with it? Anything you cut, you need to spray, spray with. It. Wilt stop. There you right, go. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I, I don't know. It, it is probably, like we said, underused, right. underused, 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 underused. underused. Right. underused. Yeah. Uh, again, right. it's the amaryllis, right? It's right. a great plant. Beautiful plant. Easy to grow. Beautiful flower, big flowers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Red. Paper white. whites. Pa- oh, another one. Mm. Fragrant. Fragrant. Hey, fragrant. Hostess gifts, everybody. That's right. Hostess, Hostess gifts. gifts. Going to a party. Right. Bring it, bring it planted, there bring it go. planted. Wow, that's right. All right, well, please join us next week on Bloomers in the Garden. And hey, call our hotline if you got yes. questions. Call that hotline. Yes, it's it's six zero nine six eight five one eight eight zero. And right. that we'll see you in the garden. We'll see you in the garden. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609 685 one eight eight zero, and we'll see you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over six million residents throughout the Delaware Valley, from Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore. Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning: first at eight a.m. on eight sixty WWDB, and again at nine on six ten a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com.